Once you have your experience sketched out, now you need to find assets in the Zoe or Sketchfab library. When looking for assets, I first look at the Zoe library for any assets that match my storyboard. If I cannot find what I'm looking for, I move on to the Sketchfab library to find the assets that are not already in the Zoe library. When looking through the assets, make sure to write down the name of the asset so it is easier to find later on. If you are still unable to find the asset you would like to include, there is also the option of importing your own through a Sketchfab account. Be sure to sign up with the email password method of signing in. Once you have an account, import your 3D asset. Before publishing, make sure to set the Who Can See option to public and the download option to free. Once it is published, click the Check My Model and scroll down until you can see the triangle and vertice count. If it has more than 8,000 triangles and 6,000 vertices, it cannot be displayed or imported into Zoe. Once your asset is uploaded, you can search your username in Sketchfab. Once you are there, find the asset you are looking for and drag it into the scene like you would for any other asset. 